Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm so glad that I can um, share with you today our devotion. Pardon my voice. My voice has been a little scratchy since last Saturday, but I'm going to make it through and it's going to be all good. Uh, last Saturday was our mother-daughter tea. And um, if you missed out on that event, it was on Zoom. It is recorded. So if you guys want to have your mother-daughter tea at home, feel free to go on to our YouTube page at HCEG Kids. But this one actually comes from our mother-daughter tea, so you're going to get a little snippet of it today. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. 2020 was really difficult for some of us. We've had to learn some things. We've had to readjust our way of life. Um, and so now we're into 2021 and we're already in March. And I still think that this is a new beginning for a lot of us. In the next couple of weeks, our kids are going to go be, be going back to school if they haven't already. Um, it's going to be a different atmosphere for them, a different way of teaching. Our kids are going to need to trust their teachers are going to keep them safe, that their schools are going to keep them safe. Not only that, we as parents um, need to trust our schools are doing the best that they can to keep our children safe. My kids are, are kind of excited to go back to school. They're excited to see their friends for sure. You know, since this whole 2020, we've learned we've had to learn how to go to school online, how to communicate with our teachers or with their teachers online. The thing about our kids, though, is that they're very resilient. They can adapt. Um, and they did. You know, there were some struggles with that. And as parents, we were watching our kids go through that. We were watching the struggles that they had with doing online distant learning. But for many of us Christians, the biggest thing that we had to learn um, was to trust God with childlike faith. Um, and it was that faith that we needed that was going to sustain us, um, not only us, but through our family in that season. Now we're coming out of that season. How much more do we have to trust God with childlike faith that he will keep our family safe as things start to open. So let's kind of break down the, the verses here. So Proverbs chapter three, verse five, okay? It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. That right there tells us what to do and what not to do. He's asked us to trust him. Trust the Lord with all our heart. And this isn't easy when we live in a distraction filled culture in social media. It definitely wasn't easy moving into the quarantine season. That's for sure. Okay. But the thing about it, it was essential. The second is don't try to figure it all out. God didn't ask us to figure it out. God didn't um, say, you know what? I, I'm just going to give this to you. I'm going to give this situation to you and you just need to figure it out on your own. That's not what he asked us to, to do. He asked us to trust us. Kids, do you trust God enough to keep you safe when you go back to school? Do you trust him enough to keep you healthy? Childlike trust. That's what God is asking us. Kids, do you trust your parents to take care of you, to provide all of your needs? Um, do you question on how they take care of you? Or do you, do you just say, you know what, mom and dad or whoever you live with knows what's best for me. And I'm going to trust that they're going to always take care of me. It's a lesson of faith that requires commitment. How much do we trust God? Verse six says, in all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. He's asked us to trust him in everything from the littlest things to the big things in everything we need to trust him. Is it hard sometimes to let go and trust God? Absolutely. Absolutely but it is essential. Second part of that, it says, and he will make your path straight. He's asked us to trust him and and, and rely on how he's going to, to make everything right for us. He's gonna take care of everything. We don't have to worry. Um, even though it's easy for worry to creep in, we don't have to worry when we trust God with everything. Hebrews 11:6 says, it is impossible to please God without faith. And anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Even as kids, I encourage you to seek God every day. I encourage you to, to pray. I encourage you to read your Bible 
as you seek God, kids, God is going to reveal himself to you. God's going to, God's going to meet you where you're at. And, and you might think, you know what? I'm too young. You're not too young. You're not too young um, for God to, to show you and give you visions and dreams. You're not too young. Acknowledging God in all your ways simply means to bring him into our life choices before we try to figure it out. Maybe as parents, you're, you're trying to decide if, you know, maybe I, I don't want my kids to go to school or kids, maybe you're thinking, you know what? I want to see my friends, but I don't want to go back to school. I want to play on the playground, but I don't know if I'm, I'm ready to go play on the playground. Ask God to help you. Trust God that, that he's got what's best for you. God promises us to to direct us. He promised to direct us along the way. He promised that he'll never leave us, that he'll never forsake us. He's just asked us to trust him. All in all, here's the thing, plain and simple. Remember that God is faithful and he is trustworthy in all things. He only wants what's best for you. In this new beginning, in the new year, as we, as we start to come back, as we start to fully come back to church, as we start to go back to school, as we start to spend more time outdoors or do the activities that we used to do, trust God that he's going to keep you safe. Trust him because the Bible says, trust him in all things. Whatever your new beginning looks like or whatever it's going to look like this year, okay? Trust that God has still a great plan in all of this. And we might not know what's in store, we might be okay to go back to school at the end of the month, but who knows what's going to happen as we approach that time. Trust and know that he has a great plan and he's taking care of everything. All of our worries he's taking care of. So that's the word that I want to share with you today. I'm going to pray. So bow your heads and close your eyes wherever you're at. Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your word today, how you're reminding us to trust you in all things. And I pray, Lord God, that as these kids prepare to go back to school, if they're not already back, I pray, Lord God, that you help them to trust you, that you will keep them safe, that you will watch over them, that you are going to provide what they need, Lord God. And if, if these kids aren't ready to go back to school, God, it's okay. I pray, Lord God, that you give them peace, knowing that, that it's all right and you've got them. I thank you, God, for all that you are doing in HCEG Kids. I thank you, God, that that we have this opportunity to disciple our children, Lord God. God, we've been back at church for the past couple weeks, and I sure do miss all of our kids. But God, I know one day, one day soon, we will be back all together in church. We will be get to we will get to worship together. We'll get to play together, have activities. We'll get to do our events again. And God, I trust you. I trust that you know when that perfect time is. And so right now, God, I pray that you be with all of our families right now. Be with all of our kids. Continue to provide all of their needs. Continue to be with our parents, Lord God, as they um, uh, raise their children to be mighty men of, of um, boys, mighty, mighty warriors for you, God, boys and girls, Lord God. And so we thank you, God, for just all that you are. We thank you, God, for all that you're doing. And we love you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, next week, um, for most, some of you who know my husband, he's going to be able to, he's going to come and share a word for you next week. So I'm so excited. Many of you have been asking how Mr. Noy has been and he's been doing good and he'll be able to share a little bit with you um, when he uh, does our Wednesday Connect next week. Have a great week, you guys. We miss you. We love you and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.